Stuart Miller wrote a post today on eLearning World that motivated me to introduce you to H5P on Moodle. H5P is easy to use and you can use a variety of activity and resource types that you can build. It's easy to learn and to edit and you don't have to be a specialist. You can learn more about this accessing eLearning World and reading what Stuart has written. Let me show you, however, how you can start using it now. Whether you have your Ministry of Education Moodle platform or your Moodle Mashov platform. In both cases, remember that the first thing that you have to do is to enable the editing button so that you can use H5P on Moodle. And you can do it this way. You can add an activity or resource and look for H5P. Notice that you get an explanation of what it is. You can do the same on Mashov, Moodle Mashov. You look for H5P and add it. You can also open a free account of it on H5P as I have done. I would advise using it directly on Moodle. But, for example, I decided to try this way to see whether I could embed an H5P activity on a Moodle book. And yes, I can. On my H5P account, I created an activity and embedded it on this Moodle book. Let me share with you what I have prepared. Imagine this. You're driving down the road, paying attention to traffic, people, dogs. You're watching out for all the crazy stuff that can happen when you're driving. Good job. Okay. Notice please that each dot means that I have added one type of question. Adding H5P on Moodle allows us to do a lot of things. My favorite one is to create an interactive video, but there are other options that I have not checked yet. I haven't found good tutorials yet, updated tutorials, I mean, but I am sure that there will be many very soon. There will be a Moodle Moot in New Zealand, and as usual, the recordings of the presentations will be uploaded so we here in Israel will be able to watch and learn how to use H5P on Moodle on that day. And onward. Thanks very much for your time and goodbye.